Praise the Lord, family, saints, and friends. God bless you. God keep you. I pray this video finds you well. I want to talk to you about, you probably already read the, the topic, uh, the title, but I want to talk to you about how sometimes we have a tendency to allow some people to come in and sow seeds in our life, in our field, in our vineyard that should never be able to sow into us whatsoever. Um, a lot of times we fulfill the scriptures where it talks about how we have itching ears and that we will believe a lie and not the truth. You know, it's uh, it becomes easy to want to hear something that sounds good, something that sounds like it's life bringing, something that sounds like it's going to edify and uplift. And in actuality, it is really just a portion of the enemy trying to sow something into us that's going to deceive us, take us off track, or in fact, absolutely destroy us. And so one of the things that I want to, to talk about is making sure that we are are wary and that we are, are, are mindful of those people who want to sow seeds into us that we should never be listening to. Everybody doesn't necessarily have ill intentions either. Everybody doesn't necessarily is not necessarily saying something that they uh, are, are are being malicious with or that they are trying to tear you down with. There may be something even on this channel that may not be good for you to hear at this time in your life. Um, there may be something that somebody else that is a spiritual person that is usually right may say that may take you off track from where God wants you to be. And you have to beware. You know, we all know the story of Johnny Appleseed and how he went and he was spreading seeds and supposedly, you know, he was populating, you know, in North America, you know, planting, you know, apple seeds and and uh, helping agriculture in America, but in actuality, he was spreading, you know, something that would be considered an invasive species if it wasn't native to that area. And some people say, well, it was native. Some people say it wasn't. It all depends on your perspective. But at the end of the day, there are some areas that weren't supposed to have apple seeds, and there are some areas that were supposed to have apple seeds. And depending on the area, depending on the season, the climate, and all that stuff, it, it, it could have been beneficial or it could have been negative. And that is the same case with us. We have to beware of Johnny Appleseed. I'm going to read uh, in Matthew chapter 13, verses 24, and probably, I'm not sure to where, but we'll read together. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while the men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst thou do, didst thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? And he said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? I would read on, but we understand how that scripture goes. The bottom line is, is we got to beware of those Johnny Apple seeds in our life. Everybody ain't supposed to sow into our field. Everybody doesn't, you know, we, we, we live in a, a digital age. I'm, I'm on a, you're probably watching on a digital device now. And every clip isn't meant to be something that you're supposed to live by. Every TikTok, every YouTube video, every sermon you hear over the pulpit, every person that walks up to you in Walmart and tries to sow a message or a seed, everybody who says, can I pray with you, is not somebody who's necessarily supposed to be sowing into your life. And just because it might be something that you want doesn't mean it's something that God wants for you. So we've got to be so careful. It's so easy for the enemy to use our itching ears and our desires to cause somebody 
to be a curse to us. You know, the thing about the enemy is, is how God uses people to bless you. The devil uses people to curse you. And you have to be careful that somebody who you think might be a blessing from the Lord might be a cursing from the enemy. And so I just want to leave this with you. Be careful of Johnny Apples. God bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name. Thank mm -hmm. you.